This video is simply to demonstrate a Schmidt trigger, inverting Schmidt trigger, with a simple 555. Over here, we're not even hooked to the Arduino, we're just using it right now as power supply. <laughs> and what I have is a potentiometer right here uh, across the supply, and the center tap is going to go to the input inputs of the uh, 555, 2 and 6. And I'm going to run that thing up and down so you can see where the trigger points are. About a third and two thirds is where we're going to find those. So I've got two traces of the oscilloscope here and also a multimeter so we can check. Now, this multimeter is hooked to the input and trace one of the scope, the upper one, is going to be the input and trace 2 is going to be the output. So I'm going to go ahead right now and vary this pot, just turn him a little bit, and on the scope, hopefully this will show up good, you can see if I go up at a certain point, trace 2 drops down. Let me drop down again, and I've got to go below that trip point. You can see him, there he goes. And on the, um, on the multimeter, you can see that's about one and a half volts, 1.57. So the output has gone high. Now we're going to bring this output again. See, he goes low, no problem. No change, I should say. It's not a problem. <laughs> I'm going higher again. And there at some point it trips three and a quarter volts 3.23 or so so we've got our upper and lower trip points based on the varying input which is simply the, the potential we're going to drop him down once more there we go tripped up high and we're at 1.23 volts now what's what's going to happen next is we're going to remove the potentiometer and apply our actual signal because we're going to be using this Schmidt trigger to clean up that signal. 